Well, rebuild Tuscaloosa is, or actually, no, that's not what we're talking about. Halloween will come and go, but that doesn't mean that the spooky and scary fun has to end. There's something that's not quite normal. You could call it paranormal that's happening in November. Frankie Nichols is here from Black Warrior Paranormal Research to tell us more. Frankie, thanks so much for being with us today. How are you? I am wonderful. We're juggling some segments, so I'm sorry I got confused. There. Oh, that's so, all right. <laughs> absolutely. Well, tell us, uh, you guys are going to go to Sloss Furnaces in Birmingham, mm -hmm. and you're going to do something pretty cool, and it's not going to be on Halloween. It's after Halloween, right? Right. Uh, on November the 9th from 9 to 2, uh, people can um, come do a night tour of Sloss Furnace. There's going to be a historical part to it. Uh, and a ghost hunt. Um, we're the group. We've been talking about it and discussed it a little bit more last last meeting we had. And we're going to be guiding the people around for these ghost tours. Mm. So uh, for sixty bucks, um, plus the thing for getting it online, there's a I think a five dollar fee for online. They get admission and a t-shirt that says, I survived sloths. There you go. <laughs> and, and you get the expertise of Frankie Nichols and Black Warrior Paranormal Research. Too. Yeah, if, if you want to say that. There you go. <laughs> All right, now Frankie, you've been to sloths several times before mm -hmm. uh, for, for various things that they have up there. Um, what is your take on that place? You hear people say all kinds of things. Do you, as a guy that gets out there and goes in these old homes and things, and you, you have your instruments and, and, and whatnot, I don't know. What's the vibe you get off Sloth's Furnaces? It kind of depends on, say, the time of the year. Mm -hmm. um, the time that this is going to be, which is on November the 9th, is right after the Sloth's Fright Furnaces. Mm -hmm. And I've always heard that after Fright Furnace, there's been so much energy go through there with people going through there that it just amps it up even more. And then closer down toward Thanksgiving, it kind of dies down. Um, we're going to see what it is, but um, I've had my own experiences at Sloss several times. Mm. Um, nothing that would really actually scare me. Now, I've been at Sloss before, and things have happened to other people wow. that I've been with, but never have happened to me. And, of course, it's like everything else. It just depends on how a person goes into it. If they go into it being a skeptic, that's fine. We want everybody to be skeptic, but when you have that experience, it's good to let everybody know that you've had it, but it also you need to accept it too, <laughs> that it happened for a reason. Oh, wow. And we may go up there and nothing happened, but we may go back the next time and the place is just active. It just depends on I guess you could say your attitude toward it, you know. Um, I've gotten lots of things on the re recorders. Mm -hmm. I've had hits on the K2 meters before that can't be explained. So mm -hmm. I guess it kind of just depends on where you're at at Sloss and at the time and if they really want to communicate or not. <laughs> there you go. It's all about communication. Frankie, thanks so much for being with us. Anytime. The public ghost hunt is Friday, November 9th at Sloss Furnaces. The fun starts at 9 p.m. You can find out more by calling 205-799-6869 or search Facebook for Black Warrior Paranormal Research.